Welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today we are unboxing the new Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra uh, for 2023. There's been a number of iterations of this particular lineup. Uh, the difference this year is this particular version comes with a dedicated graphics card. An RTX 4070 is the version that we got. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, we're going to do a little bit of gaming at the end. I'm guessing that... Um, you know, the game settings on potentially high or medium, depending on the game, uh, you'll probably get some pretty good FPS. Um, and then we're going to do a light benchmarking uh, as well, uh, but we're really going to get into the functionality of this laptop in another video, uh, which we'll be posting later in a couple of weeks. But uh, we definitely want to unbox this, check out the chassis, check out the keyboard, the trackpad, and uh, everything else. Hopefully open it up and take a look at the internals. And so um, we're going to go ahead and get going on that. Uh, but first, I want to read off the uh, specs because I haven't memorized it. It comes with an Intel Core i9 13900H. Comes with that 16-inch WQXGA uh, AMOLED screen, and that's at 120 hertz. We also have 16. Oh no. I'm sorry, 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM on board, which means it's soldered to the motherboard. So there is definitely no upgrading of RAM on this particular laptop. Doesn't surprise me. Uh, it's pretty thin. And then we also have the NVIDIA RTX 4070 GDDR6 at 8 gigabytes, has a 1 terabyte M2 PCIe. Uh, SSD and then it also has the Intel uh, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.1 and uh, it's a graphite color and it's all aluminum chassis. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this and uh, take a closer look. Let's get into it. Okay, let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm first going to show the specs here on the sticker underneath. I like the packaging on this. Let's start with the power brick here. It's 100 watts, USB-C. Says super fast charging. I understand uh, this thing can charge the laptop in about 30 minutes to full. So that's pretty cool. And I believe this is a little bit beefier than the previous version power brick. Go ahead and take the laptop out and as you can see we can have our propaganda here which we probably don't care too much about. I'm going to set that off to the side. Let's check out the cable here. USB-C to USB-C. It's pretty long. Not bad. All right let's grab that. Okay, set that off to the side here. I'm going to move the box and let's go ahead and open up the laptop here. Okay, kind of slippery on the table. See if I can open it up with one finger. I can. Wow, the screen is pretty wobbly. I'm gonna bring that over a little bit. So I'm gonna open it up again. All right, well, uh, let's check out the top here, see if there's any flex. No flex around the edges, but once you get towards the middle, there is just a little bit. Let's open this up again here. There's just a little bit of lip that you can get your finger underneath. And like I said before, there is wobble on this screen. Um, not really much flex, but definitely wobble. I wonder if, if I were to pick it up shake it see it's starting to move the screen so if you're like 
trying to do something on a plane or something and you have your laptop here I could see the screen moving just a little bit in some turbulence not a big deal um, okay let's check out keyboard deck massive uh, trackpad here very nice and smooth doesn't click all the way to the top um, but uh, pretty good size all right like the fact that it has a numpad. It does not have Windows Hello uh, for facial recognition, but it does have a fingerprint scanner for easy access. No flex around until you start to get right about there and towards the middle, there's definitely some flex there. A little bit of flex on the keyboard. Let's try Not one of the best keyboards. Um, the MacBook 16 inch, which I would probably compare this with, definitely has a better keyboard. And I'm hit because the trackpad's so massive, I'm hitting it with my palm. So I don't know what kind of palm rejection we have. Um, we'll have to check that out. Okay. Not too bad. I like it except for maybe the keyboard. All right, let's check out the I.O. Okay, so uh, one thing that I need to mention, this has a 1080p camera, which we will check out in the next video. Let's start with the I.O. on the left-hand side. HDMI 2.0 port, um, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, uh, power delivery, which um, we'll be able to plug in our a power brick and cable and get this thing up and running. Uh, it looks like we have a battery indicator light there. On the right hand side we have a mini SD card slot, USB-A, and a headphone jack. Um, on the bottom here we have four rubber feet. I believe if you take those off you'll see some screws at the bottom and we can get this bottom plate off. We have some air intake and I I think these are also uh, for venting, but I do know that this is a quad four speaker um, unit. It has two tweeters and two wolfers, so uh, those could be speaker grills, but I think that's for venting. Um, let's check out the, let's open this up real quick. I don't remember if I saw speaker grills in here. Nope, I did not. Um, so anyway, there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and weigh this thing and then uh, we'll see if we can open it up and take a look at the internals. Okay, let's go ahead and weigh the laptop by itself. Oh, four pounds exactly. Wow, okay. Power brick and cable. Uh, four pounds, 10.9 ounces. Okay, so the rubber feet came off fairly easy, and then uh, the Phillip head screws, there's only four of them, uh, but they're very, very small, uh, came out fairly easy. It's really the clips holding this uh, bottom plate to the chassis, which was the real pain, and I tried to get it off with a number of my tools here, um, but I didn't want to start bending things and uh, actually... Uh, injuring it in some way. So I decided not to do that. I do know that the uh, memory is soldered to the motherboard. So if you're gonna order one of these, you gotta have the memory picked out uh, that you think you'll need. Also, the Wi-Fi card is soldered to the motherboard. Uh, the only thing that is swappable is the SD card, the solid state drive. So just keep that in mind. There's two fans um, to keep this laptop cool. Um, so anyway, uh, sorry I couldn't get this off, but you get the idea. Um, plus there's not much to upgrade anyway. So uh, there you go. We did a little benchmarking uh, for this video, starting with Cinebench R23, where we were getting a CPU multi-core score of 11,410 and a CPU single core score of 1,683. We also leveraged 3D Mark. Uh, we used TimeSpy and FireStrike. For TimeSpy, we got a graphics score of 7,241 and a CPU score of 5,023, an overall score of 6,791 compared to others online.
Fire Strike, we got a graphics score of 18,748 and a physics score of 11,130. Combined score of 6,638. And compared to online, we got a score of 14,588. We played a couple games uh, on this laptop. And I want to remind people that uh, the TDP on the GPU is around max 60 watts. Uh, we got to play... Hogwarts Legacy, where we were getting around 50 to about 60 FPS on medium settings. And then we also uh, ran the Shadow of the Tomb Raider in-game benchmarking tool. And there, on medium settings, we got an average FPS at around 68. Um, and then frames renders was 10,438. That is the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. We're going to go ahead and put this uh, laptop through the paces. Uh, we're going to do some more benchmarking. We're going to um, do a little bit of more gaming. And then we're going to do a little bit of content creation, video rendering and all that. And we're going to bring that to you in a video uh, later down the road. I, I do want to talk about a couple things. I keep hitting this screen and it just wobbles. That's one thing I, I just, it drives me crazy. Um, the hinge needs to be a little bit stiffer on this. Other than that, the screen, I think, is really going to be the star of the show here. Um, the AMOLED uh, 3K, it's really quite fantastic, and I'm really enjoying working uh, with this laptop because of it. Um, the trackpad is nice and big, and uh, it is really smooth it's a little too big i think maybe for this laptop but um i while playing games and doing some things on this laptop type and whatnot um i really didn't find that my palm was um any kind of factor uh on the trackpad because it's so big uh so that's good uh plenty of io i wish it had a full size sd card slot and um the internals a little bit of a disappointment, but it is thin and light. You can't upgrade the memory and you can't upgrade the Wi-Fi card. But there is another slot for an SD card, uh, solid state drive, I mean, and um, that's good news, more storage. Um, other than that, uh, there's just one thing that kind of bugs me about this laptop. I've seen some other reviews out there. And you really got to listen to what people are saying about this laptop, Samsung's first gaming laptop. Uh, and, and that might be true. I, I don't think it's a gaming laptop first. I think it is productivity and content creation and then gaming maybe third, possibly fourth. Um, you can game on it for sure. Um, but it's not primarily a gaming laptop, but I, I need people to understand that. So anyway, just keep that in your mind. If you're out looking for a gaming laptop, I, I really wouldn't be looking at this. Now, if you have other needs, um, around uh, productivity, you've got tasks that you need to do for work, whatever it is, you own your own business. Yeah, maybe, you know, and you got some content creation, some video rendering, some um, Adobe Photoshop that you want to do uh, on this. You uh, like to manipulate pictures, whatever it is. Uh, this laptop might be the, the way to go. Uh, but if you're looking for primarily gaming, uh, there's other options out there uh, that you'll be more happy with so far that I can see. So, like I said, we'll put it through the paces and uh, we'll bring that video to you as soon as possible. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pipe, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. It helps the channel. Not only that, it helps us bring more videos like this to you. And for that, we thank you. Uh, one other note that I want to say, um, we just started doing some short videos. Uh, so go ahead and go out there and check those out too. Uh, they're kind of fun and uh, we enjoyed creating them. So anyway, uh, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.